about using U.S. military along with Lopez Obrador said Mexico would not accept such threats, calling them, quote, an insult to Mexico and a lack of respect for independence and sovereignty. Lopez threatened to start a campaign in the U.S. asking Mexican citizens who live there to not vote for Republicans. So what are you proposing, keeping in mind they're a sovereign country? Well, here's what I'm proposing, that no sovereign country has the right to kill 70,000 Americans without some kind of a repercussion. 70,000 Americans died last year from fentanyl poisoning. This year alone, 13,000 pounds of fentanyl has been seized at the U.S. Mexican border. Okay? Uh, that's enough to kill billions of people, two and a half billion people. Uh, my point is, I want to work with Mexico, but the president of Mexico denies that the drug cartels are in charge of part of this country. He's delusional about what's going on in his backyard. Writing a letter to the Chinese president means nothing. So what I want to do, I want to designate drug cartels in Mexico as foreign terrorist organizations who are sending in fentanyl to poison Americans by the tens of thousands and put military force on the table to eradicate those drug cartels if Mexico does not work with us. I want to work with the president of Mexico, but he's in denial about the problem, and I'm not going to sit on the sideline and watch Mexico be used. Okay, um, let's move on yes, to Afghanistan. Yeah. yeah, okay, Th that's clear. I want to ask you about Afghanistan. You serve in, in uniform there. You know the situation there. We got the report this week. Um, you saw Alex's reporting. She cited this portion that says, President Biden's choices for how to execute the withdrawal from Afghanistan were severely constrained. By his predecessor, they say that President Trump had drawn down too many troops, that the special immigrant visa program to get people out of there had been starved of resources, that the Taliban had been emboldened by us engaging in peace talks without including our allies or the Afghan government. They talk about the Doha Agreement, the release of 5,000 Taliban fighters from prison. Is it fair to say that any of those things handcuffed the Biden administration's ability to make a smooth withdrawal? Well, some of the things President Trump did, I, I disagree with, but he did withdraw. And here's the point. This report is a political whitewash by the Biden administration to shift blame. Uh, the report says that our mission had been accomplished. That's why Biden got out of Afghanistan. He's claiming that we eradicated all terrorist threats in Afghanistan. That's why he withdrew to end the longest war. General Corelli said last week, who's the head of Senate, that the rise of ISIS-K and Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan is so severe, we could be attacked. Afghanistan later on in the show, but before you go, I want to talk to you about the issue of abortion. We've got two federal judges. Uh,